you're all doing well and having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about how I prepare for um, the deadlift. Um, so I have found that as I'm moving up in weight, um, one thing that starts to happen, and it's definitely more in the hex bar deadlift than the traditional deadlift, um, is I find my knees, as I'm lifting up, my knees kind of come in like that. And so what's going on is I'm lacking some strength um, and some activation in the, uh, the hip abductors and the external rotators that um, help keep your knees out and your hips rotated out. So um, what I do, so what I've been doing recently and it's definitely been helping is before I, uh, before I actually start lifting is I grab my booty band here. This is um, an arena strength band. I really like these ones. Um, they don't ride up uh, and they're really, the quality on these is really good. So what I do to, I do a little exercise to get these muscles um, really firing. So what I do is I put the, the band is just above the knees and I'm going to do a monster walk for anyone who doesn't know what that is. Um, so I'm going to get down into like a half squat position here like this. And then I'm going to take really short steps. Like I'm not even gonna, it's, they're more like half steps than like actual real steps. I'm gonna take really short steps and I'm going to try to get it so that my foot is falling flat on the floor, stepping flat on the floor. So I'm not stepping with my heel. I'm not stepping with my toe. And if you find yourself stepping with the heel first, chances are your steps are too long. Shorten your steps quite a bit. And when I say short steps, I mean like this kind of thing. So that's the basic um, stance that you want to be in. And you want to go forwards and backwards. You want to do both. Going backwards will um, get the glutes more involved in this. And as you're doing it, just remember to really keep, don't let the band pull your knees in. Push the, stretch the band out with your knees. Try to keep your feet hip distance apart because sometimes what I see is people, in an effort to try to keep the band stretched, they'll start to do this. They'll start to bring their, their feet out as opposed to their knees out. So just remember to keep your feet net, like at a at hip distance apart. Don't let them get any wider than that. Again, forward. And backward. And you really should feel it in through the side here and the glutes. Um, this is a really good exercise for turning on those abductors and external rotators. Um, and whether you just lack, uh, whether you just lack strength in that area at all, um, this is a great one for if you have um, just some general knee valgus, which is when the knees kind of come in, when your, your legs are, your hips are internally rotated, your knees come in. This also is associated with some pronation of the feet. Um, so this is a really good exercise for that. I use it to, like I said, prepare for the deadlift. The other thing I do is I start with a lower weight and do a couple of reps and work my way up towards my um, the highest weight that I'm, my, um, my max weight that I've been doing deadlifts at these days. So that is how I prep for the deadlift. I hope that that was helpful for what anyone else out there. Um, and, you know, please share this video, hit the like button, um, and subscribe to my channel. And you can find me on Facebook, 
and Instagram as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.